let's get things started. Ready? Go! Hello and welcome to Bounty in the Comics. My name is John Trent. I'm the founder and editor-in-chief at Bounty in the Comics. And today, we're going to be listing off some of the most ultra-cringe moments from modern comic books. Before we get to that, I'd like to ask if you could please hit that subscribe button if you are not already subscribed. If you are already subscribed, please make sure you are still subscribed. YouTube does like to unsubscribe people for whatever reason. And then hopefully by the end of this video, I will have earned your like and that you'll give us a like and that you'll share this video with your friends and family. So let's get right into this. Modern comic books aren't really fun anymore especially those at Marvel and DC Comics. They've become more about cringe. And it's not just Marvel and DC Comics. It's spilled over into the other major Western publishers like IDW, Image, and Valiant. This turn to cringe is one of the main reasons why the medium is getting absolutely slaughtered by Japanese manga every single month in sales. Just looking at this year, it, it's really hard to find any Western publishers on that top 20 gra adult graphic novel list. So today we're going to be listing some of the some of the most ultra cringe moments from modern comic books. And this is just part 1 in an ongoing series that we will we will be doing here at Bounding in the Comics because it does not appear that modern comics will be letting their foot off the cringe pedal anytime soon. Number 1, Faith number 5. Back in 2016, Valiant Comics published Faith number 5, a 48-page election special. In one of the stories, Faith Zephyr Herbert saved failed presidential candidate Hillary Clinton from a superpowered burglar who decided to destroy his own helicopter and send it crashing down on Clinton at a political rally. The book was written by Jody Hauser and Louise Simonson and Rafer Roberts with art by Megan Hetrick, Perry Perez, and Colleen Duran. The Clinton story called Faith in Politics was specifically written by Simonson with art by Perez. Total and utter Cringe. Number two, Modak. Also in 2016, Marvel Comics published their Spider Gwen Annual Number One, featuring a story introducing a new villain called Modak, written by Jason Latour with art by Chris Visions. In the book, Latour and Visions basically turned Marvel's infamous villain Modak into President Donald Trump and called him Modak, or mental organism designed as America's king. In the final pages of the story, the book just shows a female version of Sam Wilson as Captain America pummeling Modoc. Super cringe. Number three, Iceman. In March of 2016, Marvel Comics turned Bobby Drake, aka Iceman, gay in the pages of Uncanny X-Men number 600 by Brian Michael Bendis, Sarah Pichelli, Mahmoud Asrar, Stuart Eminen, Chris Anka, Chris Bacalo, David Marquez, and Fraser Irving. However, before they turned Bobby Drake gay in Uncanny X-Men number 600, they made a younger version of himself gay by Gene Gray reading his mind in all new X-Men number 40 by Brian Michael Bendis and Mahmoud Asrar. After they made this young Bobby Drake gay in the pages of Uncanny X-Men number 600, this young, younger, now gay version of Bobby Drake confronts the older version of Bobby Drake and asks him if he is gay. It turns out he is too, and that he thinks Angel is hot. Yeah. That makes the list for ultra cringe. Number four, New Warriors. While Marvel has yet to publish their New Warriors title from Daniel Kim Kibblesmith and artist Luciano Vecchio, the company heavily promoted the book back in March 2020 with the introduction of new characters named Screen Time, B Negative, Trailblazer, Snowflake, and Safe Space. The book's writer Daniel Kibblesmith explained why he decided on Screen Time, Safe Space, and Snowflake, Snowflake specifically why he came up with those names. He said, Snowflake and Safe Space are the twins and their names are very similar to Screen Time. It's this idea that these are terms that get thrown around on the internet that they don't see as derogatory. They take those words and kind of wear them as badges of honor. Not only are the names super cringe, but Marvel explained that Screen Time got his superpowers from, quote, experimental internet gas. This might be the ultimate of ultimate cringe. Number five, Alan Scott. This will be the last one for this video. In Infinite Frontier number zero, writer James Tinian IV and artist Stephen Byrne made the original Green Lantern Alan Scott gay, despite him being in multiple relationships with women and having two kids. Tinian even has Scott say, quote, Back in an earlier time, I kept a part of myself hidden from my friends and peers. I even let myself get married a few times to women I did love with all my mind, but I did that knowing there was something about myself I was hiding away. 
He then tells his two kids, Jade and Obsidian, that he's gay. Super cringe. That's it for part one of our list of ultra cringe moments from modern comic books. If you have any suggestions for entries on to our ultra cringe moments from modern comic books, please let us know in the comments below. My name is John Trent, and you've been watching Bounding in the Comics.